So which are the best premium golf ball? I've got four of the big brands, the ones that I would consider the go-tos in the premium ball market. You may have seen some other ball tests that I've done recently on brands that are going straight to customer direct, no middleman in between, but we're gonna try out today four of these to see which really is the best premium golf ball because this boy here, the Pro V1, is always considered the gold standard. But will we find that TaylorMade, Srixen, or even Callaway actually are knocking this boy off the podium? Let's get stuck into this test. Okay, so a little bit about each ball before we start. They're all different constructions and you'll see them popping up down at the bottom of the screen. Also different price points, but what they're offering is long distance and then amazing feel around the green. So we'll see when you're hitting your pitches in, it's meant to bite quickly, get a lot of spin, but then when you get onto the tee, you're also meant to be seeing lots of long distance. So in this test, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit some pitch and chip shots around the green to get an idea of what they feel like, how they do react when they hit the green give you my opinion on which I think feels the best obviously you guys at home watching this may have a different view on that to me because it's ultimately what you're feeling as you're actually chipping and pitching with them then we're going to hit some balls with the driver and see which one is the longest and also at the end of it I'll give you my opinion to which I think is the best premium golf ball so with no further ado let's get stuck into some chipping and pitching So that's a field test done there. For me, TaylorMade came out on top. I just noticed when hitting the pitches, it was biting a little bit more and gripping a little bit earlier and stopping. Not to say that the others weren't spinning and seeing that they were biting. They all felt very much the same. Interesting that TaylorMade is the only five piece golf ball there and it did seem to spin a little bit more and it did feel, I would say Shrixen probably felt the softest out of them all but then spin-wise, TaylorMade was taking that. We're gonna do a durability test now. I'm gonna hit five shots out of the practice bunker with each one, and I'm also gonna hit five seven irons into the practice net and see what the, uh, the skin of the ball looks like afterwards, and then we're gonna get the driver out. Okay, so that is the test done. Five bunker shots and five shots in the net with each ball. And do you know what? They all look pretty much brand new. The Strixen had the slightest, and I'm talking the slightest sign of wear. It just looked like the top layer was just starting to peel, if anything. But other than that, they're all stacking up very much the same. So 
In terms of price point as well, just to mention that, we've got $39.99 for Strixon, $39.99 for Callaway, $39.99 for TaylorMade, then $45.99 for the Pro V1. And at the moment, I would say it's the TaylorMade that's impressed me the most just because of that spin when I was hitting into the greens. And that's one of the cheaper options. But it's time to get the big stick out, see how far these balls are going and see if the Pro V1 climbs back up the ladder and really is the king of the premium golf balls. Let's go and find out. Like I said, TaylorMade coming out on top a little bit at the moment, but will we see that Pro V1 is going to be crowned the king? We're going to hit three balls, each brand three balls, on the Foresight Sports launch monitor and find out which is the longest. Callaway first. Let's go. Not a bad start, a little bit toey. Okay, on to the tricks and see how this beauty performs. Okay, three balls with the tailor mated. So far. And if you hit it like that, wow. Three with the tight list. Come on. Will he be king? Okay, so who is the king? At the end of that, the results are in. The Callaway, 270 yards. The Strixon, 272 yards. Taylor made and Titleist will see a big jump though. Taylor May goes to 284 yards carry, and then the Titleist goes up to 289 yards carry. So Titleist winning the crown on distance there. But overall, looking at those golf balls, what I would say is that we've thought of Pro V1 as the gold stamp of the premium golf ball for a long time now. What I would say, it's worth trying the others. The driver test there, I didn't hit the Strixon and the Callaway anyway near as good as I did the other two and it would take I would probably say to get a thorough actual idea hundreds of thousands of shots to actually get a real number and what we would see for those averages but just a quick one there we see that we jump up quite a lot in those other two the tailor-made and the titleist for me if I were to go and pick one now and they said right you're getting a year's supply of golf balls which one do you want I think I would probably air towards the tailor made just because of that spin around the greens i was noticing it stop a little quicker and for me i'm not a player that generates loads of greenside spin so to see that happening was a little bit exciting and i felt like i could be a bit more aggressive with my chips and then i see that the distance is very much there for um it being close to the tightest i mean five yards though five yards is nearly half a club so leads to be said I think the best thing to do and take away from this guys is try the golf balls if you can and if you can go and get a golf ball fitting don't just think that Pro V1 is the be all and end all go and try the others get fit and see which is best for your game guys thanks for watching see you in the next video